Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer. And today we continue our look at the beta testing of Windows 11. Uh, yes. So it sounds like that they may be uh, testing out the 8th gen of Intel CPUs first. And then they may look at the 7th gen. Uh, the 7th gen Intel CPUs are from 2017. Um, and they appear to have the security features necessary uh, to be run by Windows 11. So I think we just have to be patient, wait for more information, and uh, hopefully uh, 7th Gen be able to use Windows 11 um, starting hopefully uh, the end of 2021, maybe October-ish. Um, now, there's a few things that you need to keep in mind. If for some reason you're on, you're beta testing Windows 11 and you need to roll back to Windows 10 for whatever reason, you won't be able to um, test Windows 11 again uh, in, in the beta form. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, and when the, uh, the final version of uh, Windows 11 is released to the public, the use of the Windows 11 beta will not be allowed. Windows 10 will be supported until 2025. So there'll be Windows 10 updates coming out um, until that time. So don't panic. You can still use Windows 10 if you have to. Um, but uh, we just have to wait uh, and see how this testing goes. Um, now, a few interesting things about Windows 11. Um, the Microsoft Team video calling app will be integrated into Windows 11 instead of Skype. Also, the Windows 11 Store will have web apps, Win32 apps, Universal apps, Android apps, and Amazon apps. Another nice feature in Windows 11 is when you're using a laptop, you'll be able to choose to use your integrated graphics on your CPU to save battery power instead of using a discrete GPU. Now, you may be able to already do that in Windows 10, and I'll just show you how to do that. Go to the bottom left corner, right click on your mouse and select System. Then select Display. Then you're going to scroll down to the bottom where it has Graphics Settings. Now we're going to select the Microsoft Store app here and we'll do Minecraft as an example. Um, and um, we add that. Okay, and then we're going to look at the options. And it comes up, um, it's only coming up with my discrete GPU, the RTX 3060 12 gigabyte. If you've got a laptop, it might come on up with your onboard graphics as a, an option. So, anyways, uh, you might be able to find it there. Thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. Don't forget, You'll be seeing me in the next video.